Ladies and gentlemen, if I say I'm an oil man, you will agree. I've traveled across half our state to be here and to see about this land. I'm a family man. This is my son and my partner, H.W. Plainview. You boys are a regular family business. You boys are a little late. What'd you find? Well, I found some interesting prospects. I have many wells flowing at many thousand barrels per day. I can guarantee to start drilling and to put up the cash to back my word. What's this? Why don't... This is my review for There Will Be Blood, released in 2007. I had only previously seen Punch Drunk Love from director Paul Thomas Anderson, a great but very different film. A film about oil may not seem very interesting, especially compared to the other big release of 2007, No Country for Old Men, a story about a ruthless killer. However, even though the plot line may seem a tad drab, don't let that stop you from seeing it. It's a very engaging movie, at no time boring. You have a fantastic central character and performance from Daniel Day-Lewis driving the film. Paul Dano, who I was a fan of from Little Miss Sunshine, does a very solid job here too. The interaction between the two is excellent. One of the elements I was worried about was I heard that for the first 15 minutes of the film, there's no dialogue. A lot of digging, but no dialogue. However, no worries needed. And there's one reason for this the score. The score is amazing. It's been said before, but the score is fantastic. From Radiohead's Johnny Greenwood, he creates a confusing, disorientating, erratic score. It's used a lot throughout the film, even in some moments of calm, slowly building to a moment of danger and excitement. This creates a constant sense of dread and threat. The score alone is an achievement equal to any other aspect of the film. There is an event about an hour into the film that triggers a huge shift in the tone of the movie. The music comes into its own here and really adds to an already brilliant and tense scene. I also very much enjoyed the way Daniel Plainview's descent into greed and madness was a very slow process, getting more menacing by the minutes. This film is visually stunning. Some of the shots and set pieces are breathtaking. All in all, at 160 minutes, this is a long film, but it's thoroughly engaging for every one of those 160 minutes. I already want to rewatch it, and I only saw it last night. For 160 minutes, that's saying something. What you get with There Will Be Blood is a phenomenal lead performance equaled by nearly every other aspect of the film to make this one hell of a movie. Go see it now. When do we get our money, Daniel? 